I wanted to talk to you today about how you can save money by buying blems or blemishes. I love this thing. Uh, so I got this package in the mail today. It is the accessories I bought for my one wheel pint. And I bought it from a company called Float Life. I really like Float Life. I think they have some uh, really awesome videos. I can tell that their products are really solid. I was able to save some money by navigating to the blends and clearance section. And I'm gonna open this up and kind of show you what I have here. And I'm gonna also install it. Okay, so this first item is more of a comfort thing and a control thing. So this is called uh, the Kush Nug High, and what this is, this is a foot pad, and I'm not really going to do a review on this, I'm just going to, you know, give you a brief thing of, of what it is, the Kush Nug, it's pretty nice quality actually, this is really nice, and the, the, but the awesome thing about this, was that this is a blem, I can't even tell, I can't even tell that this is, this is a blem, look at that. I can't even tell. Maybe, maybe it's this little scratch back here. Maybe that's the blemish. But yeah, other than that, I can't really tell uh, the difference. Normally, this is priced at $105, uh, but the blemish version was $84. So uh, yeah, I saved around $20. Bucks. It just it kind of extends the board as you see it comes out this way so that it gives you a little bit more surface but yeah this is supposed to give you more control and comfort right over here so this is uh, a float plate this goes underneath your pint so that you don't scratch the bottom of it people actually use it to do grinds and stuff like that I don't plan on doing grinds, but I, I still think this is kind of like one of the uh, base minimum things you need. So again, this was uh, also from the blemishes section. It's normally uh, like $64. I got it for 50 bucks. I was able to save $15 on this thing. I'm gonna try to find the blemish on this one. I can't even tell. Oh, the other cool feature is there's this uh, handle here so you can Hold your board up. May oh, I see. Here we go. Maybe it's this. Some kind of machine scratches there, but this piece gets covered anyway. It goes under the board. Low plates are supposed to be scratched up, so this is this is great. Because you're buying a blemish items, you're limited on colors. They'll, they they only have colors that they have. Um, but luckily for me, I actually wanted this Tiffany blue. It worked out perfectly. This one I went back and forth on. And again, just in, this is in the context of the blemishes section. I right? am shopping blems here. So the things that guard the side rails here. Um, they call them sidekicks. So they have two versions of it. They have the heavy duty version of it, which is what I wanted. Or they have this OG version of it, which is what, what I have here. I'm gonna pull it out. And what my feeling is, is the OG version of this is probably way thinner. Yeah, this is definitely uh, thinner, but it's just like kind of a thin plastic sticker that goes on the side. The reason why I didn't get the HD version is the, um, uh, the heavy duty versions just didn't have the colors I wanted in the blims and I didn't want to pay like full price. They only had purple. Normally they're 25 bucks. Um, if you buy a blemish version, it's 15. But I ended up going with the OGs, and uh, so these are normally 20 bucks. Um, I got them for 12, so I saved about eight dollars. Uh, again, you know, I can't really tell what's wrong with it. They look great to me. Cool. So there's a couple of swaggy types of items that I got in the float uh, package. I think this is a thing that you put beer like a bottle of corona beer put in here keep it cool never gonna do anything I'm just gonna recycle that that's a sticker tools and screws for uh, installing the items and alcohol swab do-it-yourself mini paper airplane kit so they're not rolling paper this is an airplane kit 
All right, guys, the Kushnug foot pad. So this basically goes over here. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to remove six screws. There's two on the top here. Four more down here. surface area. Hey, if anybody wants the old foot plate, please leave a comment below. I'm going to go ahead and put on the float plate. This is the front. It goes like this. Okay. But before we put this on, there's some adhesive here. One, two, three, four. Looks like there's a couple more holes. There's one, two, on this side. Okay, I'm gonna lay this down. Tiffany blue plates. Pretty sweet. There's a charger plug here. And the charger plug is on the other side. That looks hot. Oh, I think I might have messed up. That doesn't look perfect. That's awesome, dude. That looks great. That looks sweet. And then we can put some stickers on it, but I'm going to go black. Dude. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go black. If we wanted to, we can throw some stickers on here. Okay. All right. 